And just like that, we're back. We're live. Hello, 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 hello. On YouTube every Friday, 6th Century. Y'all know what it is at this point, right? It's yeah, I, I sure hope so, at least. That's right, that's right. Available on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Be sure to give us that subscribe, rate, and review. And boy, have we hit the goal, people, so we could finally oh. give away this giveaway. It's going to be good. Uh, we'll get to that after we go through the plugs. But uh, yeah, well, I, I'd like to thank Detail Depot. He's off, also added a little giveaway on this podcast. By He's going to be giving away a MJJC foam cannon. And I think Very we've cool. decided we're going to give away that at the end of the podcast in the Q&A portion. Mm-hmm. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm still battling a little bit of sickness. So if I, you know, get the coughing or something, y'all have to just watch Dewar take over the podcast for a second. But <clears throat> not a problem. Onward. Uh, yeah, let's get into the plug so we can get this episode started. Very, very interesting episode. It's jam packed. We got all mm-hmm. kind of guests, and uh, yeah, we're gonna. I'm very excited to be talking to them all. Comments are rolling in. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm take very seat. excited for this. Got That's a lot right. to jam pack in an hour, so hopefully we'll we'll make it. You mm-hmm. spill over mm-hmm. a little bit, not the end of the world, but we'll see how she goes. That's right. That's right. Anyway, you can check out the cleaner stash promo Jamie Ten. Save ten percent off there. And DIY detail promo Jamie Ten as well. Got linked in the bio. Uh, so one link leads you to all that goodness. Save some money. You can try that some awesome does. products. If you missed it, DIY Detail got a new release this week. Got the gold standard spray polish and the gold standard waffle pads. Ivan is a man of, uh, you know, spray polish and waffle pads. So finally rolling out their uh, polishing system. I'm very excited about that. Got three, five and six inch. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably be reviewing it pretty soon. Should be some good stuff. That's pretty much all I got for my plugs. Dewar, you want to hit them with the Dewar detailing news? Yeah, so bit of a warm up spell here. So I've been doing uh, some rinseless washing, which has been awesome. It's kind of the the winter staple for for those of you in the colder climates. Um, yeah, big thing. TOC supplies they're still rolling into the new year. I mean, lots of lots of new stuff coming, so that's really exciting. So Bucky VW gets ten percent off there. That's one of the big codes, and then um, Carzilla as well. Same code gets you five percent off. So a little bit less, but still a discount regardless for my Canadian friends. So. That's right. Yeah, I yeah. also heard this week a uh, DIY detail was coming to TOC supplies. So that's uh, mm-hmm. pretty cool. Yep. Very exciting. So yep. a, uh, it's good to see the, uh, the Canadian brainchild of Ivan getting some, uh, some more stuff into more Canadian hands, which is exciting. So that's right. So the so, DIY goodness, you know, it's good stuff. If TOC, uh, you know, is a uh, jumping yeah. on board. Yeah, yeah, they uh they like to run through their paces with stuff, so they, mm-hmm. they don't just bring anything on, which is great. Very good vetting process. So just mm-hmm. another, yep. you know, thumbs up in the industry of a brand new yeah. brand. And they're uh, doing some big things over there. <clears throat> but there you go. That's the plugs. That's the reviews. All right, Dewar, we got a giveaway to give away. Yes, we do. We'll make my way to the names and whatnot. So we can read a couple of these uh, reviews. Mm-hmm. I think we got five new ones this week. So thank you, everybody who uh, dropped them. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, We got Sammy Sweden. Jamie and Alex are always helping out. I appreciate the professionalism and detailing. And the extra mile, you go to give us a way to stay connected. Education is always fun with Jamie and Dewar. Thank you. The podcast is awesome. Five stars. Can't beat that review. Not at all. Then we got Beast Flyer. Love the information I learned to hear and uh, always relaxing, listening to as I'm washing with my trusty O&R or absolute rinseless wash he gets it he gets <laughs> yep it. got jeremy uh, kessler very good detailing show to listen to with great guests in the auto detailing community always a good listen five stars thank awesome. you mr jeremy and finally we got foot fetish dropping a five-star review jamie and Dewar are gems friendly knowledgeable and fair demonstration of a uh, car and truck detailing which are objectively illustrated they host weekly guests who in the industry of automotive detailing and innovative ideas when it comes to efficient and quality products to get the results you need. Fantastic reviews, people. We greatly appreciate it. Do or pull up the wheel. Let's do it. All that. right. Yeah. So again, thanks to away. thanks to everyone that uh, left a review. It's um, I know with the Apple stuff, you can create an account for free and leave a review there. We're mm-hmm. slowly working on the other platforms to see how that works. So that's right. We're on. Yeah. We're on, we, yeah. Apple have Spotify. everyone here. I apologize if the spelling is incorrect, but 
Uh, what do you say we click this? So let's do this. Uh, oh wait, hold on, dear. Hold on, dear. Hold on, dear. Oh, I have a video. I have a video. I forgot. Oh, forgot. okay. A video of me boxing the box show, so you know everything you're getting. Here we go. We got the Gerber Ooh. Gerber box. Got no port, no porch fire at stake in that stuff. Detail factory tire brush, black diamond glass towels, Tim's high gloss hot sauce. We got Vonix V cut V finish 303 spray wax. Uh, O2 protection ceramic from purist trim saw shells from a uh, shine supply squash air freshener shine soap work stuff. It's in there. Shine supply. Oh, hat. And I thought, you know what? You need some pads for uh, them polishes and compounds. So there you go. Some uh, buff and shine pads. I mean, I that's think it's nuts. evolved into a heck of a giveaway. What you think, Dewar? That's yeah. That's uh, I like <clears throat> the uh, I like the box. It's um, unsuspecting to your fellow Mike, neighbors. Your, your detail depot. And we read yours like three months yeah. ago. <laughs> He's Appreciate the OG. My, Mike Mike never sleeps. That's right. Uh, All right. Mike, so if it lands on Depot, uh, Depot, you gotta you gotta double it and pass it on to the next person. Yeah. Just you minute. gotta you gotta fill the MGGC with some soap. So. That's right. All right. Hit we'll it. give this a click and we'll go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it passed Hillbilly Hall. Oh, oh, Martan. Congratulations, Looks Mark like it. Ian, Martin, Martin, whatever your name is. Yeah. Please, uh, hopefully, you tune into this episode. Reach out uh, the cleaner Jamie at Gmail or just DM me on Instagram and we'll hook you up with a uh, big giveaway. I got it all boxed up in the Gerber box, ready to roll. Perfect. <clears throat> all right. I'm glad to get that out the way. That box just uh, was <laughs> so big. <laughs> yeah. Cleaning up all your space now. Yep. 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 The K cabinet of chaos got emptied out a little bit so <laughs> yeah. i appreciate it but uh doer we have some grand ambassador uh you know some uh what do we call this contenders we yes. have the top contenders that we see fit in our eyes that we've noticed the most through the year we try and pay attention to it it is pretty tough mm-hmm. so uh you know if, if don't take offense if you know we didn't invite you to do this episode yeah. <laughs> if, uh, who we've narrowed down to the top three and noticed the most and really love their content we got them on so we're going to be asking you know how it went this year and uh, what they gained from uh, their grand ambassadorship and uh one of these fellas will hopefully win the whole darn thing and have a heck of a prize on their hands i'm not sure what this year's prize is do you yeah i have no idea i've i've been getting uh no little hints or anything they our friends over at TRC always like to keep things uh, spicy, so I'm sure they'll have something pretty special. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, hopefully these one of these gentlemen will be joining us in a, at TRCMA if that's still part of the prize pack of uh, getting. Yeah, that'd be really cool down. if it is for sure. Yeah, because now you need to hand off the crown. You know, you gotta <laughs> yeah, talk about yeah. There's a crown uh, type of deal. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I think there's going to be a ceremony of sorts, maybe with a. You know, remember their Halloween episode of their smoke machine? I'm guessing they yeah, we might bring smoke, that back. Who maybe knows? a couple of sparklers. Yep. Got a yeah, we'll, uh, gotta have we'll a crown, a championship so. belt, something. And yeah, just uh, quickly for those that don't know what we're talking about and what a Grand Ambassador is, um, it's the right company's take on a sponsorship, which is going under some construction right now. But typically, which these three gentlemen are, um, they were included with was. Basically, every quarter they pick 10 people off of Instagram to be a representation of the right company. And then once they pick those 10 people, they have their quarter and they get a bunch of swag. Uh, at the end of the four quarters in a year, um, most 40 people are kind of all thrown in a bucket and they're looked at by the TRC crew and a, a winner of the best res- representation is picked. Mm-hmm. So um, Jamie and I were both part of that program and, um, you know, I, I think it was pretty invaluable for both of us and we had a great time and we've met so many great people, including our three guests tonight. And I'm really excited to see where this goes. Um, they're mm-hmm. going to kind of a trimester system. So three times a year and um, existing ambassadors can participate from what I hear. I don't know the final details of it, but uh, very excited. So That's right. yeah, we I think might we be. can... Uh, might be uh, going to battle with one of these gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe this whole yeah. group might be a grand ambassador this year. Who knows? Yeah. We'll see how it plays out. But right now, we got to see who won <laughs> the 2022 season, do we? Exactly. Uh, we're on a champion. And I think we've picked uh, three of the strongest contenders out there. But a uh, hot topic between these contenders mm-hmm. has been uh, I got hashtag team cold tub versus hashtag uh, team hot tub. You know, we've seen Darren and his and his a uh, nice hot tub over there with detailing chemicals and microfiber. 
Then you got Brad over here, perfect detail, you know, refreshing his body in the cold tub plunge. Dewar, where do you stand in this uh, battle of hot tub? I, cold tub? I'm, I'm kind of a hot tub, you know, but it's kind of a bit of a blend because you have the frigid temperatures, but then getting into a hot tub. So sometimes you get out of the hot tub, roll around in the fresh snow get back in you know really shock your body that way there you uh, go you know not much of the uh you know that not going after the athletic physique profile of getting in the uh, the ice tub you know to mm -hmm. to help the body but uh, but yeah whatever your favorite is uh for those watching definitely drop those in the comments and see what side you're on and we'll um we'll have a bit of a tally at the end to see where we're at so you're going team hot tub yeah all right i'm gonna go team cold tub Okay, that's my tie us up right at the beginning. I'm from <laughs> Team Cold Tub because a few of you know about this, but I tried to attempt to be a professional wrestler about five, six years ago, and boy, mm -hmm. you know, it turned my knee crooked. Was always having <laughs> chin splints. I was getting beat up by a man named Big Daddy Yum Yum in Shreveport, Louisiana, taking a heck of a beat now on a weekly basis. So, uh, I did, I've experienced the cold tub doing some miraculous things, getting the blood flow going, mm -hmm. and helping recovery. Yeah, I, I'm definitely a Team Cold Tub. Love a cold shower too. Oh, the yeah. Smurf is here. Smurf, welcome aboard. All right, let's not waste these gentlemen's time anymore. Let's get them on and get right into uh, Mr. Cold Tub himself. <laughs> this down, I got to scroll. Because uh, not only is he a Grand Ambassador of the Year contender and Cold Tub enthusiast, he's uh, got a perfect detail spec Kranzel set up in the OG store. He's mm -hmm. uh, also nominated uh, by the IDA Best of Best Awards this year for the Mobile Detailer of the Year. I think voting has ended, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, we should, probably should have had him on a couple weeks ago to make everybody go vote. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that will uh, be the uh, winner will be announced. Uh, we'll just ask him. But I think it's the end yep. of this month. Everybody, welcome Mr. Bradley Norby of Perfect Detail USA. The money is up and it's down. It's just how it goes. Everyone's going through something that nobody knows. Relax, stay in your lane, leave people alone. Don't buy a car on a chain when you don't have a home. Don't worry about having a lot of friends, you only need one. Hello, Mr. Bradley. Well, 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 well. Intro. Thank you, guys. Yes, it's really easy when you have you know the good content. All three of these guys, you know, always making the great content, so it's easy to uh, go find some real quick, make a little highlight reel. Thoroughly enjoy the content. Uh, how's it going? Good, good. And yourself? I appreciate you guys having me on. Absolutely. Yes, definitely going good. So how exciting is it to be just your, your ambassador year contender? You're nominated for a mobile detailer of the year. I think you easily win it, in my opinion. Uh, what's what's going through your head this year? I think you're doing big things all of a sudden. Honestly, it's, uh, it's unbelievable, man. I can't even uh, express how grateful I am for that. Uh, I definitely wasn't expecting it. You know, I'm new to the IDA. Um, but that's something that I've definitely come in and uh, learned to love along the way, for sure. So, I mean, just the fact that uh, there's a ton of opportunity on the table, you know, being part of the Grand Ambassador program was kind of uh, the intro for me, just opening doors, to be honest mm -hmm. with you guys. And it's just, as you guys know, such an opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, going back a second. You are cold tub enthusiast yourself. You can get yeah, I'm team. I'm team cold tub for sure. Yeah, cold tub. So but go again, ahead. On that note, uh, new yeah. to it, definitely. Um, there's something that I've been paying a whole lot more attention to lately, and it's just I've gotten a lot of uh, messages, you know, direct messages on all social platforms, just about avoiding burnout and things of that nature. Um, and right. I've just found that cold plunge is one of those extra tools we can take to really kind of try to prevent burnout um and just keep us going stay healthy you know i am a fan of the hot tub too though oh, wow. <laughs> oh little little that's right yeah, you, you never turn down a good hot tub you gotta never turn down a good hot tub, the cold but... plunge you know it's all about yeah, yep. balance yep yep all about balance but we're on team cold tub yeah so yep. team cold tub one oh, team hot two to, tub. two to one. Oh we, man let's go right. we appreciate your uh your enthusiasm into mm -hmm. the cold tub that was a Pretty cool to see you there. So let's start with your detailing story. Kind of give us a rundown of how you got into detailing, that kind of thing, which led to Perfect Detail USA. Yeah, for sure. Uh, started kind of high school, um, just classic story, grassroots stuff. My brother kind of showed me the ropes, kind of sh brought me along with him when he was running a detail business. I was still in high school, kind of bouncing around from job to job, 
But uh, mm -hmm. I really loved, he took me out to do a job. And the first car we did was like a, a black Corvette Z06. And I was just like, this is what you do for work, you know? So <laughs> it was a nice day. I enjoyed it. We're sitting out in Huntington Beach, just great weather. Uh, it was just me, my brother and I. So it was kind of like we got to spend the time by ourselves. I, I never really worked super great with a boss and on a big old team. Um, I do enjoy teamwork and, and working well with others, but just the fact that we could kind of zone in and focus on the craft at hand uh, was super nice. So it kind of went from there. I took a small little break from it, kind of wasn't super motivated, you know, still young and youthful. Um, mm -hmm. I worked at in and out in Cal I'm originally out of California, um, okay. San Diego area. So I worked at in and out fast food delivered pizzas, worked construction, um, long story short, moved across country to Florida in 2017 nice. um, and really was kind of just determining like what I was going to do uh, and just decided to go back in, lean back in toward detailing and in 2017 mm -hmm. kind of established the business professionally and just haven't looked back since. Heck yeah. So what led you to Florida? Uh, my girl's family is out here. Um, so just that option, the fact that, uh, we had opportunity out here, she wanted to go to college. Um, I was seeking something new. I'm a California kid at heart for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but I definitely was open to the concept of new location, new opportunity clients and things of that nature. So it's nice to have family coast to coast. That being yeah. said, we did, we did move back to California pre COVID. <laughs> Um, and we oh, tried wow. that out for a little bit, right when we got across the border of Arizona and California, we heard about COVID. So it was an interesting mm. time to relocate business. Yeah. Um, and yeah, California was locked down hard. So yeah, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Fast forward a, a year or two in Cali, it was all great. And yeah. I'm back out here in Tampa. So I think, I think we're going to be here for a little while. Yeah. I think a good move. Good move. Yeah, good move. Far sure. away from a uh, Mike's auto detailing is always a good thing. Yeah, there was a bit, there was a bit more uh, lifted, lifted rigs out there that I was detailing, like desert <laughs> yeah. overland vehicles, stuff like that. Out here is a lot more street scene, grassroots, drift mm -hmm. stuff, exotics, things of that right. nature. Yes, you seem to be always detailing some kind of supercar, exotic car. What yeah. led to kind of your perfect detail setup and getting into just straight up supercars and exotics all day? Yeah, yeah, for sure that. That took a while, you know, again, before 2017, I'd been detailing four or five years or so just out of the back of a single cab, long bed Chevy S10, uh, trying to make that work. Um, and then when we got out here to Florida, originally decided I really needed a van set up and something that was going to be uh, efficient mm -hmm. uh, in a mobile setting. So I got my first 2010 Ford Transit Connect. Um, just kind of had your simple three bucket wash method. I, I still practice good methods uh, back sure. then, but you know, dealing with the Sun Joe, SPX three thousand, um, mm -hmm. a few chemical yeah. guys products, just really kind of standard issue stuff, mm -hmm. and just kind of getting the job done and and just focusing on my process uh, versus the product. Um, what and then, yeah. And then fast forward a little bit, getting into the Grand Ambassador program is is when that truly opened me up into, you know, products and how that can be efficient for business using mm -hmm. the right microfibers, using the mm -hmm. right products that are going to make you much more time efficient, um, manageable and overall the quality of the work. Yeah. So, so that pretty much led you to the TRC Grand Ambassador program experience. So how was it? Uh, kind of putting your uh, application in, getting, yeah. uh, getting the thumbs up, and uh, how's it been with TRC? Uh, I had used the rag company towels, like third party, gotten them from, you know, a few from Obsessed Garage or wherever I mm. may have picked up a little couple packs and tried out their microfiber. I loved it. Um, before then, I'll be honest, just like a lot of other people was using Kirkland, Costco, microfiber. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, 15, 16 bucks isn't too bad when you can get a ton of them and, and get the yeah. job done. Um, but the only difference is I really noticed when I started working with the rag company towels, mm -hmm. how different it is yeah. to work with them and how much more worth it it is. Mm -hmm. How um, long does it last? Yeah. 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 But when I became aware of them, I was still kind of new to their product uh, mm -hmm. and their yeah. microfiber in general. 
Um, so I was new to it. I really didn't. It was kind of a shot in the dark for me. I just, I just mm-hmm. applied. I, I heard about their program. I had, I had, you know, done a little bit of research. I saw Alex um, mm-hmm. on there and some of the content uh, just on YouTube and things of that nature. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, I, I sent in the application and surprise to me, I got accepted. And mm-hmm. it was a blessing. I, I, I knew that was going to be the start to, to something pretty awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely a cool feeling when you, when you get that Instagram message. It's like, holy smokes, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was the that was basically essentially like the sponsorship that opened the doors. You know, it, mm-hmm. it really started everything. I think I think I was at you know via if we're gonna talk social media for a, mm-hmm. a moment, I think I was at like two thousand something followers, right. which, which, took, which took six yeah. years to acquire. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and just practicing different strategies on social. Yeah. Uh, and I think that that's what the rag company, you know, looks for. I, I always tell everyone who's yep. messaging me, try to showcase your work as best as you can. You know, I started yep. out with family, friends, detailing for free mm-hmm. um, and just posting that work, you know, hey, mm-hmm. mom, can I can I detail your car, your family, your friends, whatever mm-hmm. you can do to kind of showcase some of your work and uh, people will notice for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seeing your explosion kind of in 2022 has just been amazing. Do you got anything for him? You know, I think the, um, you know, just that, and I think you've been doing a really great job with it and, you know, kind of tying in with, you know, kind of the Obsessed Garage theme of the van setup. I mean, it's still pretty minimalist. That's, and another, clean, that's another one right? that kind of blew my mind a little bit, you know. It's, um, yeah. it's pretty I mean, cool. I mean, and I mean, like, just you're i'm whenever i see your stuff pop up on instagram i'm just so entranced like all you're doing is filling up a bucket turning on a pressure washer pulling out the hose but like you're just engaged 100 percent every time yeah and and also just like you know the uh the little mounting solution for the foam cannon um that yep. you came up with is really really cool yeah i got a, then, i got a shelf full of them right here i finally got yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I finally got, yeah i finally got a few in stock and uh on that yeah. note, I, I, I want to send you both Alex, Jamie, and uh, our two other guests here. I'll send oh, you guys sweet. Just, just send me a, over a message. Yeah, I appreciate really it. Cool. Appreciate I that. definitely need yeah. a pressure, a mounting. <laughs> I just it's taken, it's yeah. taken quite a while, but uh, that started because, you know, as far as the obsessed garage thing, mm-hmm. yeah, it's the same concept with the rag company. Like when I found yep. out about Matt and obsessed garage, I was like, man, I wish I, I wish I knew about this four years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm how like I'm willing to make the investment. Mm -hmm. I just basically want there to be no excuses for my skill set or the craft. I want to be able to do do the best job. I'm willing to make the investment on the products and tools Mm -hmm. necessary to do that and feel good while I'm working. Like Mm -hmm. happiness has to be the driving factor. Um, And if you're, if you're feeling burnt out or, or you need a day off, you're just not going to perform to your, your Mm -hmm. peak ability. And that's exactly. something that I really strive to like avoid at all costs. Right. Uh, that comes back into a whole nother conversation we could have about self-awareness and why you got into this, what you're looking for. If you're, if you're doing it for the money, I don't know if it's the best bet, you know, you really right. kind of got to be like the three of us could relate on. I geek out about these products. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoy the process. I love working with the vehicles and, and more importantly than anything, I like talking to, my clients um, mm-hmm. just learning how they got to where they're at. Um, you know, so all that being said, it, it, there's a lot to unfold with this. Yeah, for right. sure. I mean, I, we could, we could, we could have a whole perfect detail episode going on about that. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, where that, that's where that foam cannon mount solution came from though. I don't mean to mm-hmm. ramble on for too long, but I, I was driving around in my van and, you know, throwing the foam cannon wherever I could up on a little, you know, a fork yep. rack or whatever. And it's, it's rattling around. And yep. even if I'm in my daily, you know, I, I had a DC four Integra and I would chase the rattles or the sounds in a 90, mm-hmm. <laughs> in a 96 Integra for, you know, for the life that's, of That's me. a full-time job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I got it. I got it to where it was pretty pristine and no sounds. Yeah. And I was proud of that. And it, it just, the OCD went right over into detailing. Um, then I found out about Obsessed Garage and all the solutions that they have as far as quick disconnects. Kind of, kind of went down the rabbit hole of of OG and mm-hmm. uh, set up a little mobile unit that I thought was going to be efficient um, when I pull up to a mobile site and reached out to Obsessed Garage. 
a good friend over there, Jeff, helped me kind of set that up and and really navigate to where I. Oh could, wow! Where so I you could reached really, out to them first. Yep, yep, a hundred percent. I was like, okay. you know, I, w- I would love to figure out how how you know we had been in communication via mm-hmm. social, um, and, and gained a relationship and and to go You've full. Clearly, forward. you know, maximize that system. You've got it down. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it makes total yeah, sense to me. And uh, yeah, give us the plugs for your quick disconnect and the Kranzel setup. And uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You guys can find them at uh, obsessedgarage.com. If you use the link in my Instagram bio and stuff like that, it helps support me a little bit. But regardless, if you're looking for the setup, it's on obsessedgarage.com, Perfect Detail USA. It's it's the full pressure washer, Kranzel 1322 TS. Comes mm-hmm. with all the quick disconnects, jumper hose, everything that you need that I think is going to be a great start to a mobile unit or if you're looking to upgrade um, or mm-hmm. just get into it in general it's it's worth getting that investment um, if you're looking to go all in if this is your career mm-hmm. yeah yeah exactly yeah. exactly or yeah. you're tired yeah. of pulling hoses out and, and, <laughs> and stressing yourself out yeah. um, and then as far as the foam can and quick connect uh perfect detail usa.com you can find mm-hmm. it on there there Beautiful. you go if you got foam cannons rattling around if you're tired of leaky mm-hmm. hoses He's the man with the plan. Mm-hmm. Well, Brad, appreciate it. We'll get our next guest on. And if you want to stay yeah. for Q&A, we'll get to that uh, sooner yeah, or later. But uh, we appreciate you. you. All right. Good deal. We'll see you in a Thanks, second. Brad. All right. How was that, Dewar? I mean, wow. That was wonderful. He's uh, just not uh, – Grand Master of the Year contender. Mm-hmm. Uh, best uh, mobile detailer of the year award nomination. Yep. All kinds Great. of stuff going on. Cold yeah, tub I enthusiast. We, I mean, I wish I could tell you do? to go vote for him and have the link. Yeah. Ready. I think voting closed at on the fourth, but, uh, okay. But yeah, uh, oh, that's what we forgot to ask. We did the whole conversation. Didn't even ask when is that? I think it's uh MT MTE in, uh, in Orlando there. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it's at the end of January. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway, next guest. Let's see. Where did I put? Okay, here we go. He is another grand ambassador of the year contender and hot tub enthusiast. He's uh, nice. he's self-proclaimed 10% dodo juice. He's hailing from across the pond. Everybody get your fist pumps going for for uh, Darren from the Harry Housewife. <laughs> Hey, Darren, welcome Hello. to the podcast. I was a little <laughs> into, into fist it's, it's pumping. Hard, right? It's hard not to break out into song with that. That's quite That's the right. intro. I love it. Yeah, I love How that. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Mm-hmm. How late Thanks is it over us. there? We greatly appreciate you having on, but uh, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. It's uh, very late at night now. What is it? Half, <laughs> half, tw- half 12. So, mm. you know, but <clears> I'm, <throat> I'm thankful to be here, you know. We appreciate Definitely it. Happy to have you on. Set up, got the rag company banner highlighted. Got the screen going. I mean, it's yeah, just got popping the, over there. Got the dodo got the juice mood lighting going. Got the dodo yeah. juice. Yeah. So, what does ten percent cool. dodo juice mean? Ten uh, percent well, dodo juice. Ten percent. Well, ten percent off dodo juice. So, uh, it's my um, just to jump into it. It's the brand that got me into detailing. If it wasn't for dodo juice, I wouldn't be sat here doing go. what I do today. It's the brand that I love. That's amazing. Um, it's it was one of those things. So when I started out detailing, I started when I was 17. I had my little Ford Fiesta and mm-hmm. I had spent an hours cleaning it with dish soap. I'd put teacup yeah. on the car. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have a clue. Um, yeah. But someone had bought me for my birthday a original tub of Dodo Juice Wax, put it on the car, and I thought I was the best detailer in the world after doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And that just started me on my whole track of learning detailing. And I'm still learning today, 17 years later. So, mm-hmm. so that was your yeah. first venture into the good stuff. It was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was one of those things. I, I sort of read the back of this wax and I thought it was for my hair to start off. I thought, why has someone bought me hair wax? Um, <laughs> and then I read the back of it. I went inside, yeah. sort of had a big of a, a bit of a Google at the time. And uh, yeah, so sort of got, fell in love with the brand, followed the brand all the way up until today. And yeah, that's kind of where I am now with it. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Mm-hmm. And it's very cool that they've, uh, you know, got Starny Gloss now produced by Dodo Juice. Hundred percent, yes. Yeah. Is that what led you to uh, TRC? You think? So, or were you already me... invested in microfiber? 
I, I've always had a bit of TRC in my life. Um, always had microfibers in my life, brushes. Um, mm-hmm. I mainly got sort of into the TRC stuff when John Hole at Clean and Shiny started right, yep, stocking right. the TRC stuff. And mm-hmm. then I met the guys at Wax Stock last year. That was it. Yeah. Fell in love with the Rag Company brand. Fell in love with the guys. You cannot help but fall in love with Levi, Dane, yep. and Anthony. Um, they are fantastic guys. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they make the brand what it is now. Um, so kind of fell in love with that. And ever since then, followed them. Been on the, every single live they've done for the last Thursdays for yep. God knows mm-hmm. how long. Um, yep. So, yeah, kind of fell in love with them, fell in love with the brand. And that was it for and me. Here we are. Yeah. 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 Grand Ambassador <laughs> of the Year contendership. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I don't know. That's. They say there's some big shoes to fill. <laughs> I think you're right up there. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, could be taking the crown from Dewar, you know, any, any month now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, so going back real quick, we forgot to bring up Team Cold Tub versus Team Hot Tub. We've seen the videos. We've seen you uh, with the premium microfiber in the tub and your favorite chemicals. Mm. So uh, tell us about Team Hot Tub. I, I assume you're on it. I'm yeah, definitely hot tub. I am. I'm a man that's been cleaning cars and bending down for seventeen <laughs> odd years. I need a hot bath. I I need hot water to soothe my back. I can't be jumping into cold water. <laughs> if I jumped into cold water, it'd probably make me have a spasm. I wouldn't be able to walk for a week. So, hot water all the way for me. There you go. We're tied up, people. Keep the score. <laughs> team Team Cold Tub hash uh, two. Team Hot Tub two. Uh, put your comments in with the hashtag, and we'll tally them up at the end. But yeah, mm-hmm. anyway, going back to TRC, Dodo Juice, good stuff. So I mean, I just see someone in the comments say they wish Dodo Juice was more widely available. Starnagloss, if you, if you can't get Dodo Juice, Starnagloss. Starnagloss is the next best thing. Starnagloss, yeah. obviously produced over at Dodo Juice, is mm-hmm. absolutely cracking. You won't find another brand that sort of matches the Dodo Juice mm-hmm. other than Starnagloss. They're not mm-hmm. identical products, but they are. They're not identical, but they're, they're made by the same manufacturer and they are of such high quality they're top gonna notch. yeah they're top notch they, they again like dodo juice they do exactly what they say on the tin you can't mm-hmm. really complain very cool so that's pretty much your detailing story so let's go into the grand ambassador experience what was it like putting in your application getting picked all that good stuff <laughs> so i it, it's popped up before and i thought you know what, i'll go for it and then at the last minute i think no there's thousands of people are going to go in for it i'm not going to get chosen <laughs> um and then this time i just thought you know what why not chuck my mm-hmm. name in there um and I got an email from obviously the rag company guys to say you've been chosen. I let out a shriek like a little girl. I couldn't. The wife was, <laughs> "What's the matter? What's the matter?" I was running around the house screaming. It's it's. Yep. For me, obviously, with my YouTube channel, it's it only started about a year and a half ago. I didn't expect to have more than ten followers. I didn't expect to have more than ten people subscribed to the channel. A year and a half later, I've got over a thousand people. I've got a decent following on Instagram, and I've met people. I've done things that I never thought I'd ever do. Um, for me, it was just the start of something to help me get through sort of the lockdowns with my mental health, and it's blown up into something that I didn't expect it to blow up into. Um, I've met so many people, I've done so many things that I never thought I would, and I'm so much further ahead than I ever dreamed it would be. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah, I love sort of... that you've leaned into kind of the comedy bits, bathtub <laughs> scenes, and all that stuff. And <laughs> love that stuff. Great. Absolutely love yeah. it. So I when I started that, out with YouTube. Yeah. I was very serious about it and I was sort of trying to be serious and I noticed there's so many channels doing the same sort of stuff. Exactly. They start to all blend in. If we all, you know, take everything so serious, this is how you got to apply this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I have, I have have a bit of a Larry personality. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a loud person and Mm -hmm. doing the road company stuff has made me realize sort of that people like to see the funniest stuff that people like to see different things. I mean, for me, it was hard being a quarter four grand bastard because the weather's been awful. It's been late nights. We've had right. rain. We've had cold. So trying to get out and film with products and you know, um, like the rag company stuff right. was hard. Yep. So I was like, what you can I creative. do mm-hmm. to uh, show these products off in a different way and maybe do yep. something different that everybody else has done? And yep. it started off with one video of me rubbing my sunglasses looking at ducks. That was it. After that, I was like, do you know what, what else could I do? I've got about another four videos I wanted to record that I never got around to doing, but yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you haven't seen them, go check them out. Washing myself in the bath with a wash me, <laughs> dry yeah, myself. That was, with, that was hilarious. Dry myself class. with my drying towel. Oh, for sure. I think they definitely <laughs> go into Grand Ambassador, you know, all time classic uh, yeah. videos for sure. Along with Dewar in the hat and the yeah. alter ego. <laughs> yeah, because I, mean, I was, because yeah. Darren, I was in the same boat when I was picked in, boat. Yep. in Q1. I mean, we were in the deep, 
of winter and you know you kind of had to get a little creative uh because i wasn't able to wash outside and I just wanted yeah. to try and use everything that we got you know because as you know it's a pretty good variety of product and yeah i definitely um <clears throat> excuse me praise your creativity for sure and uh like you said it's hard not to love those guys and they always get a good laugh at the stuff that everyone's putting out oh 100 i mean it was it was probably their their absolute video that kind of sparked me thinking Do you know what? yeah these these guys look like they like a <laughs> they like a funny video they like yeah, oh, yeah. it's gonna be a little bit cheeky so fortunately i'm gonna i'm gonna go for yeah. it and it's it's kind of helped me realize that people do like to see that sort of content and i've always kind of in a weird way shielded my personality because i think you know there's not, not everybody likes my personality not everybody likes how you know larry i'm in their face and that in the videos but it's made me realize how many people do like it and mm-hmm. how many people want to see me as a con- content creator as myself mm-hmm. so yep i think know, that's, it's going to help with that the grand ambassador program really really does is push the content creators that yeah. get on board to the next level you know i think that did it for me and doer mm-hmm. and uh, likes of yourself but yeah and going back to you know uh trying to stand out i mean jack from starney gloss i mean going back to that yeah he's you know, that's how they've stood out and uh oh, you know 100%. become the newest brand over at the trc you know Mm-hmm. yeah jack jack has honestly jack has nailed it he is um obviously i i get to see him in real life when i go down to see the dodo juice guys and he yeah. is exactly like you see mm-hmm. him in those videos he is such a standout guy and he's such a nice guy as well all right you know he, and jack is one of those people you can't not help but like and mm-hmm. he's such a perfect fit with them i mean oh, like perfect, yeah. if he was there every day he'd fit right in you know wouldn't 100%, matter. 100%. But, uh, but yeah the brand as well with starting gloss it's I'm I'm happy he got it into their hands because they're they're able to get you know a really good reach into so many other people's hands too. I've yeah. had a great time with it, and it's you know it's just not one of those products that you know it's just there for show. It actually works mm-hmm. really really well. You know all their stuff. Hundred percent. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of brands that start out over here that are just made for show, and people yeah. want it for the bottle. Star mm-hmm. gloss or not that Star gloss, they look fancy, but they also do the job, and they are yeah they are one hell of a brand mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah completely agree love love the starting gloss i've been using what's uh some of your favorite products over there i've been running forced and glatt probably my top two so for me it's got to be forced x now so obviously i got the forced x yep months here, yeah. trial um mm-hmm. before obviously it come out and blown away by it the fact it's dilutable the fact you can dilute it down even more is absolutely mm-hmm. fantastic um snow as well the snow foam that's one of my favorite snow foams um mm-hmm. it's an absolute cracking ph neutral snow foam and again does exactly what you want from a snow foam um yeah i could go on all day all there that my <laughs> i mean my, my probably all-time favorite product from them is parlor the spray sealant that right. stuff is absolutely cracking um, mm-hmm. again that's exactly what you wanted to do from a spray sealant mm-hmm. yep. easy peasy on off and uh ex ex uh, you know excellent protection 100 percent. and it, 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 like you said it's one of the probably easiest i'd say probably one of the easiest spray white sort of wipe on rub off ones i've used in a long time Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, what does the future of the Harry Housewife say? Say, uh, you know, say maybe they don't pick you. They pick you. What's the future of the Harry Housewife? <laughs> All right. Do you know what? If it, if they don't pick me, they do pick me. It's it's been a one hell of a ride. I mean, for mm-hmm. three months, people look at it and think, oh, you get a few products, you get to post some content. It's not just that. You no. you go on a ride of it. You learn so much. You mm-hmm. get involved with the rag company. You get involved with the guys, and it is just a fantastic experience to go on. Um, yeah, and again, it's opened my eyes to maybe doing some more content with other brands, other products that I enjoy. Very similar to sort of doing some good ideas, you know, crazy ideas. But it's also made me realize, obviously, where my channel is going to go, what I want to do with the channel, and basically, I want to keep my YouTube channels and reviews and doing my normal stuff. But mm-hmm. maybe with the Instagram, sure. do some different stuff, do some standouty stuff, do stuff that maybe people are too scared to do, or maybe just. Yep too sensible to do <laughs> so, again that's yeah. what the ambassador program you know is uh i think proven to be good at is getting us uh, kind of out of our shelves and pushing it to the limit and then after whether you win or lose i mean you're on to uh bigger and better and things and then um, obviously if we can uh, enter back into the grand ambassador when it's been sort that's of right. revamped yeah i'm gonna be going to try to, i'm gonna be entering back into that so if, if you get in there alex <laughs> i do i'm coming for you yeah mm-hmm. there you go <laughs> I'm coming for you. Excited. Uh, in all honesty, so obviously when I started the Grand Bassa stuff, I've, I've followed Alex, I think, on Instagram for a while, and I, I see some of the stuff you've done from when you, and, you know, some of your posts are kind of what are inspired some of my posts. So looking back from when you were Graham, sort of the Grand Bassa, your mm-hmm. sort of photos you were doing, 
kind of inspired some of the photos I've done, not just with the Grand Bastard, but even before then. I was like, you know, that's a that's a good idea. And I kind of stole those ideas from you. Yeah, you know, well, I appreciate lie. that. Um, no, so, it's you know, uh we're we're all it's all kind of a big family. We all like to share ideas and um yeah, I mean I was definitely inspired by previous ones as well. And yeah. all, there's certainly uh certainly a good little community there they got going on. 100%. I mean, at the end of the day, the good thing that's come out of it is at Waxed Up this year, I get to sit mm -hmm. with the guys again, have a drink, have a laugh, and it feels like we're... I've only met them once before, but it feels like we're friends. It feels like I've known oh, them for a long 100%. time now. So, yeah, you're part I mean, of the team now. I, I, can't get, I can't get away with how Levi... He'd never met me before. Mm -hmm. Waxed Up last year, walked up to me, knew my name, knew my channel, knew everything about me, and I'm like, how do you know this? How You're yeah, just that's... like a machine of information. <laughs> That's yeah, kind so, of his thing. <laughs> and all three of them are. They all yeah. just can take it all in, absorb it, and uh, not let go, which is very it's impressive. It's unbelievable. I'm definitely mm -hmm. not like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, all right. Well, give us the plugs, and we'll get you out of here, and we'll get Mister uh, Hunter on. You're a, you're a, you're a, you know, top three yeah. here. So uh, we'll see who wins this thing. <laughs> give us um, the plugs, and we'll get you out of here. Yes, yeah, so you can find me over on the Hairy Housewife YouTube channel. Just type in the Hairy Housewife. Um, be careful where you do type that in. Don't type it in on Google. Trust me. Yeah, um, do that. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, you can now. I, I can't be in the top three, luckily. Um, Beautiful. Um, you can find me on Instagram, detailing underline thh. Um, yeah, that's where you can find me. There you go. go. Awesome. And if you, you haven't follow. seen it, go check me out in the bath. You'll see that on Instagram. Yeah, that's right. PG folks, Hot it's all it's all good. In action. <laughs> all right, we'll get you out of here. We appreciate it. We'll uh, see you in the future. Oh, well, if you want to stick around for the q and I'll try and stick around. Yeah, I'll try and stick around. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in a second. Awesome. There you go, Dewar. What you think Wonderful. about that? That was great. Yeah. Getting some. I appreciate staying up so late. So definitely yeah. uh, definitely give Darren some love on the channel and uh, for sure. his Instagram. Give him a follow. And now, subscribe. And Smash that like button, it. some would say. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I think we should uh, bring on a very patient next guest. Yes, um, finally. The last yes. guest, he is, uh, let me see, let me see, let me go find his, oh, we're also tied up for a team cold tub, hot tub, so we better have a good argument ready to go. <laughs> He's going to be the deciding factor here, and uh, chat, whichever hashtag you've left will enter you into the winning giveaway, so if you want to get them hashtags in real quick, the giveaway is going to be for that MJJC Pro Cannon from, uh, that Mike's giving away over there at the detail depot so drop the hashtags that's why i've been telling you to drop them and uh, whatever mr hunter decides is uh you know who's gonna uh take home uh, the win here but our final grand ambassador of the year contender and deciding factor of the hot tub cold tub debate <laughs> fashions include detailing photography and coffee welcome everybody to the podcast he's mr hunter johnson the bearded hunter <laughs> Mr. Hunter, welcome to the cast. How's it going? Hey guys, good. How are y'all? Good. You're still hanging out with us. The yeah, yeah. Thank you for your patience. So you did. You are just on point over there. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. You know the, you did, the photography you, you side of things helps a little bit. So, yeah. Indeed. Sure. Indeed. Yeah. So, uh, what what is the who's the winner here? Are we team hot tub? Are we oh team man, cold tub? Put the pressure Let's on hear. me. That's right. Um. So I live in Texas, and it's you know, 90 degrees, 90% of the year. So, um, I do love me a good hot tub. Uh, and like what Darren said, being able to relax the muscles after a day of detailing or whatever. Um, but I'm going to have to go with team cold tub. There you um, go. I think wow. after a hot day, it's nice to, to dip in a, a little something cold. Uh, it may be shocking at first, but, uh, you know, out after a while and, and then you're fine. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with team cold tub, I think. That's so, right. The very you get interesting. refreshed. The blood's flowing. The creativity's yeah. ready to go. Yeah, I can see uh, how that's the winner. So, do you, we got any? Uh, what are all the hashtags we got in the comments? Do we want to let it run yeah, a little bit? Uh, I am, I've been tallying them up as we go. So I'll, uh, well, we'll get a little bit of backstory from uh, from Hunter there, and I'll add all those up for now. So there you go. So, Mister Hunter, how exactly? I've lost my notes, but uh, did you, uh, you know, how did uh, sending in your application, getting picked? What did you yeah. think of the process with TRC so far? Um, so, I mean, I, I first came across TRC. I think, gosh, it's been 
I don't know, five or six years ago, maybe. Um, I was literally just like Googling microfiber towels because at that point I was buying, you know, random off brands off of uh, off Amazon or whatever. And I yeah. uh, just kind of stumbled across the website and it just immediately was like a candy store. This vast, just, just never ending uh, options as far as towels. And so started getting into it and I was like, oh, cool. They're on, you know, Instagram and YouTube and all that. And it just kind of opened my eyes to the world of the rag company. And um so I've been following them, like I said, for probably five or six years now. And uh, it's been really cool to see uh, just the family they have and like the the camaraderie between the whole crew. And um, yeah, I think it's just really cool to see, especially when when I found out about the, the Grand Ambassador program. And I was like, oh, wow, this is this is pretty cool. I was like, maybe I'll do it one day. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm uh, like social media heavy enough, especially with detailing stuff to, right. you know, be a contender. Um, and I think I was, I was at that point, I was posting a lot of photography stuff and mm -hmm. using my, my page primarily for photography. And, uh, so it was, uh, I don't know, maybe a year ago ish. I was like, you know what, let's, let's do this. I was like, let's, mm -hmm. let's just start posting, just, just putting out a bunch of detailing content and, uh, trying to kind of pushing my boundaries as far as what I was recording. Cause most of the time I love just getting out there on the weekend or whatever, washing my car and just, you know, soothing. It's relaxing. It's yeah. a little therapy session and uh, the the added steps of having to get a camera out and set up shots and and do all of that is sometimes a little more than I want to do. So uh, it was cool to kind of push myself out of that that comfort zone. And mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, then when the applications opened up again for Q2, I was like, what are the odds? Let's just give it a try. Uh, mm -hmm. probably not going to get, you know, there's probably a bunch of applicants and a lot of people more qualified than myself. And so, uh, put an application and then I heard back and I was like, Oh, okay, this is awesome. Like, this is really cool. So it was, yeah. uh, super stoked, uh, to, to, to have the opportunity to do this. And, um, yeah, it's been really fun. Yeah. I remember stumbling across the rag company one of the first times and, you know, pulling up their website and all that high quality microfibers just staring at you in your face. And you're like, this can't be much better than my Amazon. Tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, how good are they making this? Yeah. No. And, uh, yeah. Go down that road. And uh, so is that where uh, your detailing story starts kind of on the weekends, just your own vehicles. Yeah. I mean, I've, I, I can remember back to in high school, my first car was uh, a 97 Ford Expedition. And uh, so I would go down to the local Napa auto parts store and like walk through their little shelf. And we, I grew up in a little country town. Yeah. And so this little they store, no, not much at all. And it was no. like old turtle wax stuff and a couple of Meguiar's things that had been sitting on the shelf for years and sun faded. And like they, yep. they were well, well past their prime. But mm -hmm. uh, so I was like going, you know, once every couple of weeks and look at a new product. I'm like, oh, let's get this one. Let's try it. Uh, and so kind of started my love for one, wanting to keep my car looking good, but also like really sparking the love for the, the product side of things. And so uh, I think to this day, that's my like my deepest passion within the passion of detailing is like the product side of things. And so, yeah. um, yeah. So even, I mean, since then, I think, uh, I mean, I'll do other people's cars here, here and there. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really, you know, post it or push it or anything like that, but if a friend sure. or word of mouth is like, Hey, I hear you detail cars. You want to, uh, I've got X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, sure, mm -hmm. let's do it. And so, yeah. uh, it's, it's been a cool avenue to kind of, you know, take my hobby and my passion and, and kind of share that with other people. Cause it's really cool to see, um, I mean, as, as much joy as I get out of seeing a car transform from like this mm -hmm. dull, you know, something on four wheels to something that's really popping and really shining and, uh, the peace of mind knowing, Hey, I'm giving this car back to somebody better than when they brought it in and protected, yeah. uh, for the long run to, to really help maintain that. And so, uh, it's cool to be able to share that with other people and the passion behind it. And, uh, yeah, it's Absolutely. always funny too, when, uh, you know, kind of the casual person, you know, gets their car detailed by someone who actually knows what they're doing with good products, with a good system. And they're like, mm -hmm. wow. And you're like, yeah. all I did was wash and wax it, but uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 But still, exactly. you know, we'll take it to that next level. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, photography, is that still like kind of a, a main hobby or is it just something? Um, just kind of something whenever. Um, it's one of those things where I feel like it's kind of cyclical where, you know, every once in a while, I'll pull out the camera if we're, if I'm going on vacation or, um, you know, getting outside or I'm detailing something really cool. And I'm like, I, I want to get some really cool shots of, yeah. you know, certain products with this car or just the car itself or, um, 
and then uh, I feel like once a year, somebody's like, hey, can you do our family portraits or something? And I'm like, sure, let's do there some family portraits <laughs> for Christmas or whatever. And so, uh, yeah. yeah, it's just kind of, it's here when I want to do it. And if I don't want to, it's, you know, it's a hobby. So, mm-hmm. uh, yep, I did one photography gig with my Canon M50 with the stock. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The stock lens for yeah. uh, my sister and brother-in-law now when they got married and uh, they came out pretty good. But uh, you oh, had yeah. a serious setup over there. You were telling me some Canon. And I'm like, I, my, the knowledge stops at Canon M50. That's as far as I go. Yeah, yeah. I'm <clears throat> Canon fanboy till I die. So it's a, quite the expensive hobby for sure. It, it really yes. is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but uh, getting to the good. So, what's been some of your favorite brands with uh, the TRC system that you um, enjoy? I mean, I've always been a big fan. Uh, I mean, PNS first. I think PNS was the first brand where I was like, uh, like really jumped into the entire lineup. Uh, right. I know like when, when Optimum was like the main brand, I guess, and uh, doing a lot of, you know, a lot of O&R stuff and uh, hyper polish and all the, a lot of the Optimum stuff. Um, but then once P once PNS came in and I was like, wow, this is like so many things to try and check out and it's just never ending. And uh, yeah. so, I mean, big fan of PNS stuff. Um, the, I mean, I've always been a fan of G Technic um, and especially mm-hmm. some of their interior stuff. Um, like Tri Clean is by far my favorite interior cleaner, I think, of all time. But, um, right. the when the Stranoclons came in, and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is really, really cool stuff that uh felt unique. Um, because I feel like the detailing product side of things can get so one overwhelming, but two, yeah. like everything feels kind of monotone. Everything kind of feels mm-hmm. the same to a degree. I'm like, well, everybody has an interior cleaner and everybody has a sealant, but um, that those items coming in. Um, and I think especially with Jack behind the brand and really being the yeah. face of the brand really just like grabs your attention. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it was been, it's been really cool to try all their stuff. Uh, um, like Darren was saying, Parla's I mean, my go-to for everything's covered in Parla. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's great stuff. And then I covered yeah. in snow afterwards. So it's, it's yeah. great. But um, yeah, man, I'm loving, loving it all. Um, yeah. The Starny Gloss label is kind of, you know, you're very uh, photographable, photo, uh, you know, photogenic. Yeah. <laughs> photogenic. There you yeah, go. Yeah. There yeah. You go. Photogenic. yeah. <laughs> That's um, the word I was thinking of. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think the, I think coach Kimmy might be, like the one brand that has kind of caught my attention probably even a little bit more than Strong Glass has just the, right. uh, the professionalism, I think behind mm-hmm. the brand and their products and the, the science behind it. I'm like, no other brand just puts the pH level, you know, on the yep. bottle. And just, yep. Oh, cool. What's the pH? Oh, it's right here. 9.5 or and whatever. Then they, go, then they went yeah. a step further and, you know, make a whole chart. Yeah. They, yeah. yeah. And foods and all this stuff. I mean, yeah. And talking to, to Jason or any of the, the reps or anything, it's like, I'm like, hey, quick question. Uh, when uh, when Multistar came out, I was like, hey, what's the pH on this? And they were like, I mean, so quick to respond. I'm like, oh, yeah. you know, pH 13. I'm like, okay, cool, awesome. Like, thanks for, you know, just the professionalism, the friendly side of the the customer service and all of that. It's yeah. been it's been really cool. I think that's probably the the biggest portion of like my main lineup that I use. I feel like it's a lot mm-hmm. of Coach Kimmy stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like before the Grand Ambassador program, it was... I had tried so many things and I was finally kind of dialing in my like my go-to set that I'm like, cool, I can take these products out of their normal bottles and put them in my, you know, uh, my normal, like my set labeled bottles of interior yeah. cleaner, sealant, mm-hmm. all that. Uh, and then got chosen for the Grand Ambassador program and then just blew it out of the water again. And I was like, okay, too many new products to try <laughs> yeah. and game on. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, there's too many, too many good options, which is a good thing. Like to be able to have options as far as you want a, an interior protectant, you have, you know, five different options that all do such great exactly. jobs. It just depends on which one you like better. So yeah, it's, it's really fun cool. looking back, you know, thinking when we used to walk in that auto zone or whatever it was, <laughs> you know, the, the shelves were very bleak. And now uh, knowing what all we know now with the rag company and other brands as well, Mm-hmm. It's just like there are like so many good products and so many good product lines. Yeah, yeah you can kind of you know where to look. Yeah, you can point out the good ones without even almost trying them. You know, yeah. It's like, well, that right. one's probably not going to be so great. Nah, that one's probably okay. Yeah, yeah but, you too, where, where you think there's more bad than good nowadays. It's like oh, there's almost more good than bad these days. True. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let me ask you this. Uh, Got a yes, question yeah. for y'all. What's your favorite? You had to pick one towel from the rag company. What's your favorite? Doer. Oh my! Uh, 
Probably the gauntlet. Mm, personally. Yeah. 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 I'm going FTW. Oh yeah. That's uh, FTW. Yeah. FTW is my favorite. Gauntlet is very close behind that. So yeah. Magical, yeah. magical tile. <laughs> it really is, man. Oh. Yeah. F uh, yeah, FTWs are really close. I mean, they're all great, but the FTW is a close second. Because I I only tried the FTW this year. Like I hadn't tried it oh, before. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow. And I'm like, wow, that 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 was wasn't a smart move on my part to not try it earlier yeah but uh, i posted a picture of some of my original ftws not too long ago i was like the bead the original bead maker ftw towels Mm -hmm. and like it's not even orange (laughs) like a bleak gray yeah sad thing yeah yeah it's uh it's 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 funny how you make the relation to with with Sternogloss and Koshemi because mm-hmm. it's they're so similar but very different. It's like Koshemi is kind of like the brainiac kid who's every really prim and proper, and then Sternogloss is kind of the fun party kid. But they're both good at what they do, and I mean they're so colorful and kind of fresh and vibrant. And yeah, like you know you could DM Jack and he'd probably reply, you know, given the time difference, whenever it works out. But you know, same with um, with Justin, who was the Grand Ambassador of the Year in 2020. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He went on to now work with with Koshemi, which is really cool. And yeah. I mean, Andrew was amazing, and Jason's amazing, and uh, you know, just a whole kind of group. You can DM any one of them anytime and get an answer, and it's I think That's it's right. great. Yeah, Coach and, uh, so they, put together one heck of a team over there. Old Coach yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they've uh, they fit in well with the uh, with the towel gods, <laughs> if uh, for lack of a better term. They didn't like my, my bootleg bucket labels too much, but that's okay, Coach. I mean, we'll give you a slide. Yeah. Matt, <laughs> Matt's, anyway, hi- Matt's hiding in a corner, getting uh, yeah. trying not to get too much flack. The uh, Bearded Hunter, what's your immediate future, maybe after the TRC program, and then get hit us with the plugs, and we'll give yeah. you a Q&A. Um, you know, I'm not 100% sure what's the next, you know, what the future looks like. Um, I, my day-to-day job is I'm on the marketing team for a title company, and so completely removed from the detail industry in that regard, mm-hmm. but... Um, I think dream job would be, it'd be really cool to work with a product company. You know, it's to be able to teach people how to use stuff and, and uh, you know, processes and stuff like that. So, um, you know, maybe one of these days uh, being able to, you know, come aboard a company and, and work alongside mm-hmm. them to, to show people some really cool products. But um, yeah, you can find me on the Instagram, the Instagram at uh, the <laughs> underscore bearded hunter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rub it nice. off on you. And the Facebook. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's honestly kind of it. I'm also on YouTube. Um, I don't post a lot on there, but uh, also the underscore Bearded Hunter. So nice. um, Very cool. check me out on there. And uh, yeah. If you want to see some beautiful photogenic bottles, very mm-hmm. uh, very nice, go check out his Instagram. Yeah. Uh, we didn't get into coffee, but let's, uh, let's get these gentlemen <laughs> back on and get into some live Q&A. Everybody's Darren. And we got Brad from Perfect Detail USA. Yeah. And yeah, real quick too, I think with, uh, with, you know, having any interest in photography, it plays so well with detailing products because you're literally making a bottle of soap look pretty. Yeah. Which yeah. I think is so cool. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah, going to tell cool. me his uh, podcast setup right there. Yeah. 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 Take Love a that. setup. Because you know Brad's going to go all out. So you might as well just tell him. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. I'm going to my video. And yeah, uh, we do have a couple questions here in the chat. So Minister right. Fresh um, coming up. We have some of uh, some just about everyone could answer, depending on if you have them. But uh, hey, Friday fam, Jamie, how you liking the mini IKs? Looking forward to seeing custom decals for them. And it is decals, not decals. Okay. Here. Okay. We get it. Yeah. So <laughs> I, haven't, I literally just filled them up. I've been sick since they came out pretty much. So uh, yep. I literally just got out there and was like, I'll finally fill these up and I'll start using them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Have y'all gentlemen got some IK minis yet? I have. I keep, um, I keep trying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got, yeah, I got a few of them. Uh, I've literally only filled one up with water and sat there and sprayed it for 15 minutes, turned it up <laughs> upside down. And uh, I haven't, right I haven't there. detailed anything since I got them in. So uh, yeah. interested to try them. But I mean, so far I like the addition of the the piece on the back um, for the web in your hand to kind of, yeah. you know, not quite digging into the palm so bad or into your, the web, um, but spray is super nice. It, I mean, it atomizes super well. So liking mm-hmm. them so far. So Brad's the per- perfect detail over there. What sprayers are you reaching for, Brad? I haven't got my hands on the IK stuff. They look pretty cool, especially the smaller bottle. It would be nice in a mobile setting for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that you can, you know, rotate that trigger, whether you're working with fender wells or 
or things yeah. of that nature. Um, personally, I, I've been utilizing kind of a combo of like the blank car pro bottles with the uh, Coach mm -hmm. Kemi uh, star spray head on there. Um, I like the car pro spray heads as well, but uh, you know, like you mentioned before, uh, Hunter, it, it, it does dig into the hand a little bit. So I think that that IK would be a little nice to, to get my hands on. Very mm -hmm. cool. And Brad, while we have you on, we do have a question for you from two shine. Uh, what go. advice do you have for beginners? Yeah, I reached out to two shine a little bit on the, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a loaded question, um, yep. for yeah, everyone for sure. listening. Uh, you know, I didn't get to mention, reach out to me on so any social network, uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, et cetera, TikTok. I'll do my best to, to get back to everyone with any questions. I could go on uh, <laughs> quite a bit about that question, but for beginners, I just it, it just depends on, on where you want to take that to kind of sum up that question and try to provide you with a little value. Probably just start family friends, um, you know, make investments on a small, quick setup that's, that's easy to get going. Start with family friends and uh, – showcase your work to the best of your ability on, on Instagram, start there. Um, and just try to get the feel for it, be a practitioner, uh, and just, just get on all platforms and just get comfortable with it. Don't be judgmental on yourself. Don't compare yourself to people mm -hmm. uh, like you see online. Um, cause that could really kind of halter you. So, but again, to shine, yeah. reach out to me anytime and, and we'll break that down. There you go. Mike Dave, Ray's dropping Dave, some, uh, what's that? I said, Darren, you got anything for him? Oh, with the stone of gloves. Anything, whatever you got. <laughs> for the last <laughs> yeah, question. I just, I just brought up a question here for. Oh, you brought up gloss, uh, Okay, hit him with that then. Hit him with yeah, that. Yeah, the, uh, the force dilution. Um, I've used it straight personally. Um, on been on a coated vehicle. I mean, on a coated vehicle, if it's just the normal stone gloss forced, if it's not the forced X, then I'd say you sort of dilute it down one to five. Mm -hmm. Um on a coated vehicle anything sort of stronger than that you risk sort of stripping down any protection you have on that vehicle because it is strong force yeah, so is strong I, there's no there's I no literally I literally just had a coated vehicle come back and I coated it and uh I didn't see it for a year and she ran it through a car wash once and didn't wash it the whole year so yeah. this coating was just <laughs> it was bad yeah. I tell you what I ran forced one to one across the front bumper and the only thing that started rebeating, you know, from that initial pre-soak was the front bumper. So forced, cleaned it out really well, one to one. So one to one. And uh, <laughs> our, uh, I think our last question here, kind of a good way to round it out for all of us, uh, from Larry Singleton. What's everyone's favorite ceramic coating? No, we know perfect detail. Go got some Car Pro down there, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I I like to utilize uh, Car Pro C Quartz, and I've heard I've heard you guys mention in a previous episode. You know, I did a little uh, research and and listened to a bit of your guys' podcast. By the way, got to give uh, credit to where it's due. I think you guys are doing something really awesome here with this podcast, I having a, it. a bunch of cool guests on, and it's a it's a great opportunity again for anyone listening to kind of just gain some intel. Um, but as far as that question's concerned. I stick to my guns and, and just uh, I like to keep things simple. Um, there's a ton of coatings out on the market. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's going to have yeah. something to say about everything. I, I learned with uh, UK 3.0 Car Pro. Yeah. So I, I've loved how it's performed ever since. And I've just stuck with that and just tried to get as close to perfection as far as my application process is concerned. Uh, I have tested out a, a few other coatings as well. They've performed great. I've, I've messed around with coatings that haven't performed so well mm -hmm. as far as application is concerned. But I just, I love the flash time. I love the user-friendly experience of C-Courts. And I've never had an issue uh, with any clients as far as that coating lasting uh, said time. All right. There you go. That's pretty much the best advice is, uh, you know, find a coating you like to install and uh, master it pretty much. Yeah, just get comfortable with the application process and, uh, you know, to touch on CarPro real fast, just like the rag company, I, I like to uh, invest in the people behind the business. Mm -hmm. You can reach out. I, I reached out to the rag company on Instagram today uh, um, about a discount code for our Grand Ambassador stuff, and, and they were so quick to respond, fix any yeah. tiny little issue. Um, same with CarPro and Corey and James over there, the whole team. Um, Very cool. They're just 
customer service goes a long way. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I think they reset the whole system. So it might've canceled y'all's code codes for a <laughs> yeah. quick minute. Yep. I'll see if I can get mine back from four years ago. So Hunter, oh. do you have a favorite coding? Um, I mean, I haven't really gotten into a lot of different brands of coatings, um, right. but I, I've liked using um, ceramic all around or COO2 from uh, Coach Kimmy. Okay, um, yeah. I enjoyed right the the application process of it, and the finish is, I mean, it looks really great. Um, just a great coating all around. Uh, uh, pun, no pun intended, but also, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then uh, didn't um, even I, catch up on that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Geez. <laughs> um, I think the the next coating I want to try is uh, Geon Synchro. Um, yeah. The the Synchro Evo. Um, I want to give that a try. It seems to be. I mean, I, I like the the finished look of it a little, um, maybe mm-hmm. a little more. It kind of depends. I mean, I feel like ceramic all around is a more um, vibrant. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not. It doesn't add that like super deep, uh, warm glow as much. I feel like it's a little sure. more of a. Um, I don't know, better for silvers or whites or that kind of thing. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think next will be synchro. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, so far that's kind of most of what I've dabbled in. So <laughs> nice, there. So I haven't really dived down the route of ceramic coatings for you know that much. I'm a I'm a wax man, as you can probably tell from my little mm-hmm. yeah, I all the hands me. back there. I yeah. love a wax. I Your love little shrine. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm y'all, a, y'all in the UK, y'all love a good glaze, a good hand wax. Yeah, Still yeah, we do. I mean, I think it's because, I don't know, maybe we haven't got the weather to apply coatings properly unless you've got an indoor, you know, perfect environment. Um, but yeah. I have used a few coatings in my time. One of them sort of from uh, Neo Wax, if you guys have heard of those. Yeah. Neo Wax um, 12-month coating. That was quite a good nice. coating. But at the moment, I'm playing with Diamond Body. And mm-hmm. all I can say from the Diamond Body at the moment is uh, I'm enjoying it. it Diamond it's Body. It's easy to nice. apply. Nice. Um, and it's left some fantastic results. But for me, I'm a proper sort of detail enthusiast. I don't mm-hmm. want to coat my car and then, you know, you yeah. wash it. I love going out there waxing it every sort of three to six months. I love the sort of, it calms me down. It's sort of my calming go-to. It's my, right. it, it's again, it's what made me fall in love with detailing. And it's what I love the most about sort of every de- car detail I do is wax. You know, someone says, can you wash my car for me? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll wash it. I'll also wax it for you just because it's something I so, <laughs> you know, enjoy doing. So many people are like, I can't be bothered to wax a car. You know, it's hard work. You know, my hands hurt. This hurts. Yeah. Stop moaning. Get out there and wax a car. <laughs> it's fun. It makes the car look beautiful. And you're going to enjoy it. So, there you go. I love, love that answer. Do you already got any more good questions for us? Or are we going to wrap that's, this back? Away? That's all I have there. I think we'll wrap it up. Um, thanks again, everyone, for taking the time out of the day to, uh, to join us. And, uh, yeah, I'm... Especially thankful of Darren for staying up to the wee hours in the morning. Yes. Yeah, one hundred percent. Much yeah. appreciated. But uh, but yeah, I'm you know glad to to keep this relationship going with everyone here. And um, yeah, good luck on the however that voting system goes with the Grand Ambassador program. And even the if best you're not man picked, it's, yep, right. even if you're not picked, we're still uh, still a family. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. But good luck to everybody in the the closing. Uh, you know, whoever Anthony picks, whether it's a month from now or all the way to uh, yeah. TRCMA, who knows? Yeah, he'll forget it. It might be the end of March. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you guys going to be at uh, Mobile Tech Expo? Well, I will not be a little far away. Yeah. We'll we'll see uh, next year. <laughs> but yeah, if you, you're gonna be at Mobile Tech Expo for a, yeah, yeah, I'll be there. And, and anyone listening too, I, I would love to meet up and, and talk a little bit. And uh, sure. in the future, yeah. if you guys are are ever anywhere, let me know. Yeah, yes. grab yourself a plane ticket and get yourself over to Waxdock this year. I would love yeah. to visit. <laughs> Honestly, get get yourself over. You'll love it. Promise. Think about it. <laughs> Beautiful there you go, people, gentlemen. It's been an absolute pleasure. Go follow these people at all their uh, plugs that they dropped earlier. And uh, congratulations, Team Cold Tub, for the win. You know, a nice cold shower, a nice cold tub. Did uh, we get the win? Yeah. My, uh, <laughs> my get final, the win. yeah, my final tally. I had, uh, I in the comments, I found four hot, two cold. Oh, so. Mike's uh, found cannon. Who who is a uh, Team Cold Tub? Give pick someone from Team Cold Tub to win this uh, cannon. Yeah, so who you got here? Let's see, Larry. Got... You voted for Team Hot Tub. Can't vote for you. Yep, we got uh, <laughs> got a couple cold tubs here. Oh shoot, where was it? We had so the first was Sheldon Clawson. For... There you go. 
Oops, there that's our go. first one. Oh, there Sheldon, we go. congratulations. You won the MJJC. <laughs> yeah. Pro. Just so, reach uh, out to us on Instagram and we'll hook you up with Mike and get you uh, your information. And uh, congratulations again, gentlemen. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, this playing. There we go. There's the outro song. Dewar. Beautiful. Uh, follow Dewar at Bucky VW, all that good stuff. Apple, Spotify, yeah. Anchor, all that good stuff. We'll be live tomorrow on that. Uh, we'll catch you next week, everybody. All right. Awesome. Bye, Thanks, guys. See ya. Love.